Hey everybody, it's James here from the Sawyer Family Reviews channel. Today is Wednesday, November 4th, 2020, and this is your weekly comic book pickups video. Every week I buy comic books. I buy them for myself, a 42-year-old man. I buy them for my three kids who range in age from 18 all the way down to six. Uh, and I buy them always at Queen City Comics in Fairfield, Ohio, zip code 45014. If you're in the area and into comics, check out the comic shop. And while you're over there, check out the toy department. All right, let's jump in. All right, this is my convention bag, as always, that my wife made me. That hides my comics inside. Let's start pulling them out. Ooh, you got a little preview there of something. Uh, yeah, True Believers. This is now, we're done with Black Widow, and now it's tying into King in Black, which I think is the Web of Venom thing. I don't even know what that's tying into. If you know what this is... Leave a comment down below. Or does it show it? Oh, here we go. It is. It's, ty it's tying into this whole null thing from Venom. So, I don't know what Black Knight has to do with that, but maybe because it's King in Black and he's the Black Knight? I don't know. I don't even know. But this is a reprint of Avengers number 48. Black Knight Lives Again. Looks like we got some Magneto action going here. We got Stanley, Roy Thomas, and George Tuska saying this and of course these are like i've said many times one dollar reprints that are tied into something that's currently going on at marvel tv show comic crossover whatever um yeah so we've got the black knight here the avengers and you know in the brotherhood wanda and scarlet witch or, or wanda and wanda and scarlet witch uh scarlet witch and quicksilver i should say i only got one of those for keaton um i think it would be the only one that would probably read it and then the other one is King in Black, Gamma Flight's Doc Samson. No idea what he has to do with it. Um, this is a reprint of Incredible Hulk number 141 by Roy Thomas, Herb Trimpey, and John Severin. Look at that. That's a cool Hulk, man. That's a cool Hulk. Oh, man, look at these. These pencils are great. I like this Hulk a lot. You can, you can definitely see the John Severin influence here. Yeah. Okay. Uh, all right, so I grabbed two of those because I thought Gracie might dig having a Hulk issue as well. So there's that. And then we've got another one for Gracie, I believe. Yep. we got Batman Adventures reprint DC Classics number six. We've gotten every issue of this so far. These are 199 reprints of the original Batman Adventure series, which is one of my favorite Batman series of all time. This is by Kelly Puckett and Brad Rader doing the pencils. But everybody that does the pencils on this, did the pencils on this book, did a great job of just staying in that animated style. I really remember picking this one up when I was younger. At, I think I got this at a Kroger, maybe. Yeah, I, I vividly remember this issue. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at that. That's great. So if you if you just want some classic Batman action, these are awesome. I don't understand why they're $1.99 when other reprints are only a dollar, but it's worth it. This is a good this is a good series. This is $2 well spent. Next up, we've got another one for Gracie. She's digging Transformers books right now. And I know I don't, have, I don't think I've gotten any of these so far for her, but Transformers, My Little Pony crossover. I may have gotten her one of these, actually. This is the fourth issue. They're $3.99, and it's by Ian Flynn. Oh, there's two different stories in here. We've got one by Ian Flynn and Sarah Petre Duracher, and this one by James Aspen and Tony Fleeks. I mean, it's Transformers, and it's My Little Pony. That's, that's gotta be fun, right? I think she'll like this. If I haven't gotten her one of these already, then she's gonna be excited about this. Either way, she'll be excited about this. All right, what do we got next? We've got Alien, the original screenplay from Dark Horse, which is probably the final Dark Horse Alien comics. This is a book based on the original screenplay by Dan O'Bannon. I don't know if I said that Transformers is $3.99. This is also $3.99. I think there's only one more issue left after this one, I want to say. So this is based on his original screenplay for Alien. 
done in a comic form. They first did this with Alien 3, where they did a comic based on the original screenplay. So now we're getting another one uh, based on the original Alien screenplay. Interesting look for the Alien 2. Not as good as the actual Alien, but still interesting. Uh, next up, we've got... I think this is actually the last book. Yeah, the last book for the day is one for Keaton and I. That's why I got two of them. So let's toss one of those over to the side for now. Wolverine, Black, White, and Blood. And here's your creative team, which is... This is uh, $4.99, by the way. Your creative team is a couple different stories. And there's your creative team for each one of them. I think I've read some Matthew Rosenberg stuff, and I liked it. And I like Adam Kubert, for sure. But this, this book... Mysterious Mutant has gone by many names and lived many different lives. Many tales have been told. So his bloodiest battles from across ages raw and exposed for the first time. So this is just some like random Wolverine stories and they're all done in only black, white, and red. Which is kind of like the Batman in black and white stuff. Um, but with the color of red for, you know, blood. A lot of blood. So this is visually really cool looking. I'm excited to, to read this. I'm, I'm excited to check this out. Um, something else that I'm, I've checked out that I just saw is that there's a Marvel... There's a new thing that's online called... I think it was the Paragon Edition. It's on marvelmade.net, and it's this, like, Claremont hardcover with reprints of stories of his that is, like, most famous stories, which I have in both original form and hardcover form, trade paperback, but it's got a new 20-page Days of Future Past tied-in story. It's signed by him. It's kind of a Kickstarter type of deal where if they get enough buys, they'll they'll make the, the book. And I'm thinking about I'm thinking about doing it. So I don't know if anybody else is checking it out. It's on marvelmade.net, I want to say. Let me know in the comments below if you're gonna do it. If you're checking it out, if you're gonna do it, what's going on. Um, so yeah, that's what I got going on. I also picked up this today. X-Men animated Deadpool Bust. I have all the busts so far. They've done Wolverine, Magneto, Jean Grey, and Cyclops. And they've shown Rogue and Gambit. Um, so I've been picking these up. I really like them. Deadpool himself never actually appeared on X-Men. It was either Morph turned into Deadpool or a vision from Wolverine's subconscious that Professor X took. But Deadpool, the character, never showed up. So this is based on those appearances. But it's still really cool, and I love the way they do the cell shading on it to make it look animated. Pretty cool. I'm really digging these. Um, they're also doing Spider-Man animated ones of those. I don't think I'm going to do those, though. I'm just doing the, the X-Men. And that's about it for this week. If you got some stuff, leave a comment down below. If you like the videos, like, subscribe, notify. Um, hope you guys are all doing well. Try to keep your mind off all this political stuff today. Just go out and be the best person you can be. Have fun. Treat other people with decency and kindness. And that's it. All right. See you guys next time.